So you have this. What is this? This is an elk skin coat. It has buffalo trim. It has horsehide trim. It has shells and buffalo nickels for buttons. Um, a lot of bead work. Um, it's done in a Native American or trapper style. Um, it's made, meant as a three quarters coat. Uh, all handmade. It cost approximately five thousand dollars to have it made. Uh, it belonged to Indian Jim Barrier, uh, who liked Indian clothing, Indian artifacts, and who was later found dead in the desert, supposedly killed by the Mafia. And how did this happen? Um, he had a place of business after he retired, mm -hmm. uh, right next to a strip joint that was owned by the mob. And there were several disagreements about property with each other. Um, he ended up, uh, the, the gentleman that did, which I don't remember his name, that did own the strip club, got into some trouble. Um, Buffalo Jim ended up testifying against him in court. Um, he was sent, the owner of the strip club was sent into prison. But before he went to prison, Buffalo Jim turned up dead. And can you tell me more about what kind of a guy Buffalo Jim was? He was a character, yes. He was a wrestler, and then later he was a pro wrestler uh, promoter. Uh, he was a very colorful character. He was always had some wise comments to make to people. However, he did run a real good uh, car business. On the In the background, he was a family man, had children and wife. Uh, he was basically an interesting character, a good man, just a character that didn't allow people to walk over him, whether they were connected with the mob or whoever they were connected with. And how did you come by this? At an estate sale in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, approximately six months ago. Um, he, his demise was in 2008, and the family, he, had, he, was a, he collected all kinds of things, cars, memorabilia, and so they had a very large estate sale to liquidate all of his stuff, to help education for his children, etc. And, and uh, did you just stumble on this, or did you kind of know stumbled about him? On, I actually stumbled onto it. I um, found him very interesting. I uh, heard that he had some interesting collectibles, so went to the sale and um, bid on several items, and this is just one of the items. That now, this, this is a... Uh, when did he have this made and who made it? I don't know who made it for him. Uh, it was made uh, less than a year before he passed away, so sometime in 2007. It was made for him. He probably only wore it three or four times. He had several other outfits. He had one more outfit that was pants on top that looked a more American Indian versus Trapper. Um, that went at the auction. I didn't get that one. Um, but it, he collected everything, toys, cars, I mean, he just, you know, Indian artifacts, he just was a collector. And, and what does this say about our relationship to the, uh, the indigenous people as well? Well, I think he had a lot of respect for them. Um, I don't know, you know, totally his views, but he liked to be called Indian Jim, so there certainly wasn't any negative connotations. I'm assuming that's what you meant. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know either. That's why I'm wondering what you... What, and since then you've gathered any more information about them or...? Only information that, you know, that you can pull off the internet, old newspaper articles, um, nothing too, too much more personal. How do you think he might have seen himself? As a character, as a character, he, he wasn't really an egotistical man, as, you know, he wasn't trying to be a big shot, but he stood up for what he believed, and, and which is how it came about with his argument with the, the mobster. Uh, he didn't walk on people and didn't want people to walk on him, so to speak. One second, one second. 